Lurking deep in the ocean, giant tentacled predators with eyes the size of dinner plates feast on unsuspecting prey, even able to take down aquatic beasts like sperm whales. Although these monstrous creatures now rule the ocean deep, their evolutionary ancestors came from more humble origins. Cephalopods at the Permian-Triassic Boundary Cephalopods evolved from ancient mollusks in the late Cambrian. Their first specialization was the development of sections in their shell, with a lateral line running through the partitions. This siphuncle added or detracted gases, allowing the creatures to control their depth in the water. At first the shells were cone-shaped, but they soon began to spiral out of control. These early nautiloids coiled their shells around each other so that their tighter center of gravity made movement more manageable. Next, they developed a hyponome, or muscular swimming funnel. They filled it with water, which was then rapidly expelled to propel them through the sea. One thrust from the hyponome can propel some cephalopods as much as 50 meters through the water. These developments work together to make cephalopods the most accomplished swimmers in Silurian and Devonian times, behind fishes. Cephalopods diversified greatly during this time, but at the end of the Permian, disaster struck. Earth's climate rapidly changed over a million years. Volcanoes erupted, glaciers melted, and continents shifted. The extra water in the oceans decreased their salinity, which in turn changed its temperature and disrupted the deep ocean currents. Life on land died off, and the organic material flooded the oceans. Marine animals consumed all of the oxygen to metabolize the excess food. The ocean became devoid of oxygen, making it difficult for cephalopods to calcify shells. Over 90% of cephalopod species died. Those that survived had to evolve new ways of dealing with this harsh environment. Some cephalopods internalized their shells to provide for greater mobility. Since the shell was no longer useful as a defense mechanism, they developed new methods of camouflage. The cuttlefish, for example, can rapidly change its skin color to blend in with its surroundings. Other new cephalopod species did away with their shells altogether, maintaining only their soft-bodied anatomy. Ink is produced by all cephalopods besides the nautilus. The ink cloud obstructs the vision of would-be predators and disrupts their chemoreceptors, allowing for a speedy escape. Tentacles became increasingly important for capturing prey and swimming. Suckers on the tentacles help grab unsuspecting victims, and the tentacles work together to hold and subdue the animal. The eyes of shellless cephalopods are also more highly developed than those of their predecessors. Despite these newer adaptations, diversity has actually decreased among cephalopods since Paleozoic and Mesozoic times. While extinction events caused many cephalopods to adopt drastic anatomical changes to survive, others remain remarkably similar to their ancient ancestors. The Nautilus is the only species of cephalopod today that has kept its external shell. The striking resemblance to cephalopod fossils from over 250 million years ago allows scientists unique advantages when determining how those animals may have lived. The resilience of the cephalopod class has allowed it to adapt and survive through multiple extinction events, and they still comprise a key part of the ocean ecosystem today.